Hey, what's up everybody? Mike from Take Us Reptiles. Uh, it's been a, quite a while since I've been an update, so I'm going to do one. Um, as you can kind of see from the lighting, it kind of sucks over here, so I'm going to be pulling out tubs and sticking them on my bed and showing you, so I'll probably be pausing the video a lot. So just bear with me. Hopefully this won't be too long of a video. But here we go. I'm going to pause it and get the first one ready. Alright, here's the first one on my collection. This is my Colombian boa. 100% head albino, 50% possible head for snow. Uh, I did have a pair. I had a male and a female. This is my male, but the female actually died. She kept prolapsing, so I think it was a little too much for her because she was pretty small. This guy's shedding right now, so he's in his water dish soaking. But he's getting pretty good size on him. He's up to mice hoppers, small mice, I guess. So that's him. Pause it, get the next one. Alright, next up is my normal ball python. This is a male. This is the first one I actually got. Uh, he was a kind of a stubborn eater for me when I first got him, but he's been a pretty good eater now, so he's starting to get some size on him. And he's also going either going to go into shed or he was just finishing up, so he's in his water dish soaking and he's been kind of grouchy today. He was striking at his tank earlier. Nice shot of his head. Alright, and next. Alright, next up, this is my female spider. Uh, she was actually the second snake that I got in, uh, got her in Madison, Wisconsin uh, at the end of 2012. So she's getting really good size. You can't see because she's in her dish, but let's see if I can get her out for a second. There we go. You see there's my hand. So hopefully I can get her up to breeding size by this season so I can breed her. She's real nice. Her colors are... She's not a real dark spider. She's pretty light. Not real high white sides, but still pretty nice. Alright, next. Alright, next up we have my spot nose male. Um, he's been doing pretty good. He's a little grouchy now and then. He's got some decent size to him. So as you can see him there. A shot of his head. And everybody's soaking in their water today it seems. So put him in there. And it's going to be tub cleaning after this I think. So we got him. Looks like he's gonna be a little bit grouchy. So we will put him back and get the next one. Alrighty and next up we have my female pastel desert. Uh, I bought her at the Des Moines show at the beginning of this year. You know and there's the whole thing with the female deserts not producing and not being fertile so I don't know, I still might try it just to see what happens, but who knows. All in all, she's doing pretty good. She was being grouchy the other day, wouldn't eat a rat, but she ate a mouse. So, real nice. Shot of her head. There she is. All along, pretty nice snake. Nice pattern, nice bright yellows, nice dark blacks. And getting good size on her too. Alrighty. Next. Alright, next up we have my Lemon Blast female. And I believe she is the only two gene animal that I currently have right now. She was a pickup at a local local pet store. They had her for a while so I snatched her up. She's been doing pretty good for me. She won't be going this season because she's still fairly small. But gets a nice size. Color's not very bright, so she's getting ready to go in the shed. But all in all, still very nice. Some of her pattern. Close her head. There it is. Close up of her head. 
Like I say, she's not the brightest right now, but still pretty good. All right, and then we will get the next one. All right, next up we have my male pinstripe. Um, if anybody checked out like any of my videos, uh, he was one I picked up in the Des Moines show. And he was the one that was always striking and always biting at everything. So now he's really mellow for the most part. It's getting a nice size on him. He looks like he's probably going to go into shed here pretty soon too. Cooperate with the camera here. There he is. So, decent boy. There you go. There's his head. Coming towards the camera. Alrighty. That's him. And on, there he goes. On to the next one. Alright, next up we have my male Mojave, who is still fairly small, but he's getting decent size to him. Everybody's in their water dish today, so it's pretty hot in the room. But he's real nice. Nice color, nice pattern. Pretty good temperament, hasn't really been ever been too grouchy with me, so that's him. Nice pattern on his tail. Alrighty, here we have just a female normal. Um, this girl has been kind of an odd eater. Sometimes she'll eat, sometimes she won't. But she's getting you know, good size on her, I guess. And this is my normal female that has this really weird tail pattern here, if I can find it. Where is it? She's not going to cooperate. Here's her head. Let's see if I can find it here for everybody. There we go. There it is. It's kind of all weird right there. On both sides. And this is from the guy that when I got her he said there possibly could be something else in there. He's not sure, but he doesn't know 100%, but get her up to size sometime and we'll find out. Nice dark pattern. Alrighty. Alright, here we have my female hypo, or ghost, you know, whichever one you want to call it. I prefer to call them hypos. And she is going to come out this tub at me, so I'm not going to pick her up, but she's get nice eyes on her and what I like about her she's got like a really busy pattern and that one right there kind of looks like an elephant to me she sees in her dish so you can get closer without getting bit top of her head oh, there's a pattern that actually looks like an alien so there's her pattern. There she's staring at us again. Alright, we'll put her back and and next up we have a male pastel. Uh, this is one that I won on Facebook on an auction from Bob Clark Reptiles. So I've had him for a little bit. And it seems like I got a few that are going into shed. He's getting kind of dark, so he's going to start shedding. There's a little bit of a question mark there. So he's a. I'm pretty sure he's either breeding size or pretty close to it, so he'll probably be going this coming season. If I get my spider female up to size, I'll breed him with her. You know, hopefully get some bumblebees. Uh, 
There's his head. So, he's a nice boy. Put him back. Next. And here we have my female yellow belly. She's getting pretty good size on her. She's eating real good, so I just moved her up into a 28-quart tub. Uh, she just shed not too long ago. She's looking real good. Her pattern's real nice. And the one thing that I'm starting to like about her is you can see this blushing here as she's starting to shed and shed. It's starting to circle around her back more and more. Almost make a complete ring around her body. Belly. Let's see. Flip her over if we can. She'll cooperate. Tail. Some of her belly. Like I say, she's been eating for me pretty good. Real nice girl. And I think with this one, I am going to actually stop the video here and then restart it for another one so that way it doesn't take me forever to upload because this one's already 11 and a half minutes. So I will see you in part two.